so I um, was out of time last time so um, we're gonna continue from, continue from this so after um, using the product handler to add the products we're gonna use those dot make sticks um, um, using this object and the content is added uh, successfully then the length is those dot length long and we're gonna use dot sha okay we're gonna use dot sha okay and use dot sha um, then we should also take txt name dot um, um, set text to the empty string to reset the form. Uh, duplicate this one and be going to um, take txt quantity. Uh, uh, then set text to empty string as well. Okay. Then um, we need to wire this button to the activity add. This activity add. This component tree. Um, 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 click on this one first and click on this one and say on click enter okay on click enter paste it here enter make sure it's there okay it's there already so let's just run this one and test okay let's just run this one and test okay okay well oh, it has some error for me yep it has some error uh, okay this error is interesting that um, I should show you so it says on this one which is um, 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 SQL database Android content now on open or create database when we try to create a database okay um, on factory okay and on a known object references okay on a known object references um, which is what it means we are trying to create the database we are trying to create a database here okay we're trying to create the um, um, database here okay when our um, 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 when our how to say when our um, 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 system is not ready so let's say this one is we create it when only we need to add it so you can place this uh, line of declaration you can um, 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 copy this copy this line of declaration so we need to have our context set up first in this case so we need to place it here so in this case the this object here is already set up so it's not known anymore okay because if you put it here it's the first time you load this activity then it haven't set up your 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 um, 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 context yet or you can um, you can because it haven't created this context of this activity yet so you or you can cut this one and paste it into here is fine but then you, know, you need to declare this handler outside so you can use the handler here but then in this case we use the handler only in one place so I'm gonna cut this one and paste it in this place okay in this place product handler so let's us run this one let's us run this one okay then let me see yeah the, sorry the the arrow here is from previous uh the arrow here is from previous um, arrow i think okay uh, let's, let's just test it first so this one is let's say i'm gonna put product one and the quantity is let's say um, um two okay if you click on add okay it show the edit successfully uh, and right now we haven't coded the um, code in order to show the data um, then probably you can just take my words that it's already added or or uh, the following is a little bit advanced the following is a little bit advanced if you feel it's difficult just forget it but I want to show you um, something that if you use um, an emulator if you use an emulator um, you can use terminal and access to that one using um, IDB E cell to access to the cell uh, to access to the cell comments or this device okay to access to the cell comments of this device so now you'll see that I am in the cell Linux comments of this um, um, Android device and we can um, use let's say we're gonna CD to the folder of our database that I already explained which is data okay data again then this one is we're gonna um, um, the package name of this one is um, bn dot uh, VT games uh, dot uh, I don't know vn dot vt game dot sqlite press the tab key over there if you press the tab key it's already listed we are now cd okay cd to data data vn dot vt and sqlite and databases databases okay control enter now you are in the database folder you can list and see okay we have the database file product.db and product.db journal which is a log file for it 
Okay, so we have the database file created. Then we're gonna use SQLite to, to work with this database. So we're gonna use SQLite 3 and we're gonna work with this database, which is product.db. Okay, press the tab key, press enter. Uh, now you are um, um, SQLite command working with this database. Okay, you're connected or you open connection uh, with that database already. Once more, uh, for this kind of thing, um, it seems like a little bit kind of uh, advanced. So if you feel confusing about using the query, don't worry. Okay. So the times when it generates uh, things automatically uh, when I um, press the tab key. Now I'm going to type inside here, which is uh, dot tables, to see um, if we have the tables or not. Yes, uh, we created the tables already. Then we try to select everything from product. Enter. Yeah, the product um, one, product one with quantity two is added already. You can have, let's say, product two, okay, uh, uh, product two, uh, product two, quantity is, let's say, five, add, okay, added successfully. And you're gonna run, select everything from product again, enter. You wanna have the product two added right now, yeah, the product two added right now. And again, if you feel confusing with this, um, 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 with this um, 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 terminal commands, I'm going to show you that you're going to type the following commands. But not needed once more, it's not needed. But if you want to, you can show this, run this command. First, you're going to type ADBE um, cell. Wait for it to connect to the um, um, root. Okay, connect to the root. Then from there, you're going to um, type in from the CD to um, data, data, then the package name. Of your apps, which is this package, okay, which is this package, then you slash databases, okay, then press enter, then it's gonna move you to that folder. When it's moved you to that folder, now you're gonna type um, SQLite 3, okay, uh, or you can list, okay, and then it's gonna show you all the database, then you're gonna type um, uh, all the database file over there, then you can type SQLite um, 3. Um, dot um, 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 product dot db, which is the database name that you have over there. Okay. Then um, now you're in SQLite three. Okay. When you're in SQLite three, you're gonna say dot tables uh, to list all the tables out of the database. Then you can write dot select everything from product table. So these are the comments that you um, can use. Okay, this one is from our terminal. This one is coming to the root of the uh, Linux um, operating system of, of Android here. And this one is the command of SQLite 3. But um, again, these are not important. These are not important. Okay, these are not important because it seems like difficult to, to grab it. Uh, not important. Okay, just in case you need to check, you won't do that. Okay. So next thing, um, next operation that I'm going to work on is the load operation. So for um, first time when it comes into the phone is the add operation. For the load operation, um, um, I'm, I'm gonna prefer to, if you click on this menu, okay, if you click on this menu, uh, it's, gonna, um, it's gonna bring you to the um, load operations. It bring you to menu to, to, to bring you to the load operation. So for that menu, you're going to, I'm going to click on this one and I'm going to, um, I'm going to click on this one and I'm going to um, 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 uh, create the menu for load first, um, for, for an activity for load first. So this one I'm going to right click on the package folder, new, okay, um, activity, I'm choose blank activity and this one is called the load activity, load activity uh, and finish. Okay, we're gonna open, maximize this one out and collapses, collapses. Okay, for the load activity, I'm gonna delete this one. And what do we do over here? This, 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 this one is a load activity. Okay, this one is a load activity. And uh, I'm gonna do the uh, navigation for this first. I'm gonna do the navig navigation for this app first. So we're gonna change the uh, menus. Okay, this, um, if you don't know about menu, you can just um, 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 check our previous menu um, um, uh, lecture. So we're gonna use this menu main, okay? Menu at, uh, I think, uh, I'm going to right click on this one and create a new menu file because I don't wanna use menu at, I don't wanna use menu load. Um, so, so I'm gonna delete the menu way, 
okay but uh, I'm gonna use or uh, um, right click on this one uh, click a new uh, menu resource file and I'll name this one as menu uh, main okay menu main okay for this uh, main menu I'm gonna create an item which is um, item uh, this item for this item just, just leave it. Uh, I'm gonna create an item I'm gonna give an ID for it which is um, 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 menu item um, add okay menu item add okay menu item add and then uh, the title for this one is the title for this one is um, title for this one is add okay so um, similarly similarly I'm gonna duplicate this one to have another menu item which is to load okay uh, and this one you can um, um, uh, it can be used for a uh, load and anyway uh, for this I'm gonna use it for yeah fine yeah, just say load then don't be too um, complicated so so again um, I have a main menu with two items there once more if you don't know how to use this menu please watch my videos about menu okay and then we're going to load that menu into the app activity uh, then on um, create options menu okay on create options menu we're going to load the main menu but main menu instead of the app menu to this menu okay then on um, options item selected okay on option item selected we're gonna write some code in order to navigate okay in order to navigate uh, 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 this um, um, activity but if you write some code here to handle the um, um, item that, that we are selecting inside the load it's gonna have the same menu okay out here and in, inside the load is gonna have the same menu uh, that's why uh, that's why it's kind of how to say um, um, it's better for us to create a new separate file right click on this one I'm gonna create a Java file this one is for Navi navigator okay for the navigator Okay, for the navigator so I'm going to uh, 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 um, have a navigator there and uh, this navigator we are gonna be able to create a method which is public um, static uh, uh, voids um, um, navigates we're gonna navigate based on the context okay um, context which is uh, if you need to navigate you're gonna use an intent and for intent you need a context so you're gonna put a context over there and you need to specify we need to specify also the menu item that menu item that user click which is the item okay so you're gonna check from here um, switch wanna switch on item dot you know, get the item ID and case if it's r dot id dot a menu item add it should bring us to add form and break and case r dot id dot menu item uh, load it should bring us to the load form and break okay so if it is menu item add and we need to check if okay the current context that we pass and is uh, is instance of instance of uh, the um, um, Add activity okay we shouldn't do anything we shouldn't do anything so uh, we're gonna check the case which is if not if not the uh, context that we pass in is uh, um, the um, uh, instant of add activity if it is not then we're going to bring it to add bring it to add activity so bring it to add activity we're going to um, use an intense okay you explicit intents equal to new intents okay and if you don't know what intents is, please um, um, watch my previous video you're gonna use the context over there and you need to uh, pass the package which is add activity dot class okay similarly similarly if I want to copy this and if you are going to uh, load methods a uh, load activity if you click on the load menu it's gonna bring you to the load activity okay if it is not load activity yet and you're gonna use this one load activity oh um and you're gonna use the context 
done. Start the activity using that intent. That means 